Hi everyone, I'm Heather from Reading Rocks and I'm live in my children's bookshop, Stories by the Sea in St Ives, Cornwall. Thank you for joining us. Um, I thought this afternoon that I might share a little bit about our teacher subscription box service. Some of you might be interested in what's included, uh, how often it comes, how it might benefit you, how your school might uh, tap into it. So I thought I could share that with you. If you don't know me, I'm Heather. I'm the founder of Reading Rocks. I was a primary school teacher for 15 years uh, up in the northwest. I taught um, right across from year one to year six and was involved in various projects for Reading for Pleasure Cultures, which is where Reading Rocks grew from. The teacher subscription box service uh, began last July and since then, lots and lots of teachers have been joining us and finding the benefit in having this subscription service. So it is brand new books every half term, specifically and very carefully selected for use in the classroom. We have four box options. We have an EYFS box, two books for use in the EYFS setting, we have a key stage one box, two books, perfect for year one and year two. We have a year three, four, uh, lower key stage two box, two books, perfect for those classrooms. And finally, which is our most popular box at the moment, the year five, six box for upper key stage two classrooms. Again, two books specifically selected for use in the classroom, helping you develop your knowledge of current children's literature and to promote a reading for pleasure culture in your own classrooms. So if you sign up for the box, it costs you £16.50 every two months, every half term, so per box. That is the whole price. There's no hidden extras. That is the postage. That is everything and it arrives to the address you've selected now some people get it delivered to school which is wonderful i know some teachers open it with their classes which is rather exciting and some people get it delivered home because they want their hands on the goodies first of all so your box looks a little bit like this and you know it's from us because it's got our logo on we have chosen a very simple box because we like to be eco-friendly with as little waste as possible. So your box can be fully recycled um, or reused. If you use it in an exciting way, it would be great to let us know. So when you open your box, beneath the rather nice branded tissue paper, you will find your bookish delights. So this box is the year three, four selection that went out in March. So last box, the next ones go out uh, towards the end of May. So this is the year three, four one. Let me tell you a little bit about what was inside. OK, so these were the two feature books. Before we get to those, the most important thing, we always like to put a bit of a treat in for you. So this time there was a few Harry bows because we know how hard you teachers and teaching assistants and librarians work. So let's go for, which one should we go for first? This one here, okay? So this is from Knights of Publishing, Cracking Publishing House, producing wonderful books, Mayhem Mission. And it's by, by Bahana Islam. Uh, she is also the author, let's see if I can do this with a couple of hands, of this lovely book that you might have seen, Amazing Muslims Who Change the World in extraordinary stories of incredible people. So she's also written this. Opening your eyes to different authors can help you really develop your range of children's literature. Um, gives you authors' names to look up and find out some more. Let me read you the blurb for this one. Yusuf's older sister is getting married. He's ready for the delicious food, the fun with his cousins and the many presents but he's not ready to take her place as the responsible one. His only option, cause some chaos and ruin the wedding. The first book in the hysterically funny My Laugh Out Loud Life series will have you crying with laughter. It's going to be a great read aloud book. And um, actually, let me just pop into this book because this has a photograph 
of the author and tell you a little bit about her. You see just there. So she was born in Bangladesh, raised in Newcastle, currently residing in the outskirts of Manchester. Rahana Islam is a storyteller who is passionate about exploring themes of heritage, belonging, identity and faith in both her children's and YA works. So in this book, you get to experience some of that culture. And I'm just going to read you a tiny section just so you hear the voice and you can hear how much the children are going to love experience in this book so the first bit is crossed out my summer holiday story the adventures of yusuf ali khan and changed to my laugh out loud life by yusuf ali khan age nine and three quarters miss minchel my brand new year five teacher yes that's right you heard it here first year five and one of the big boys now has told our class to write about our summer holidays and she gave us this booklet to do it Yes, I know, teachers make us do this nearly every year. And normally, I'm the third last person to fall for this kind of stuff. The second last person will be my cousin, Adam. And the last person would be my arch nemesis, Bashir. But we never talk about Bashir. So you can hear the voice in there that the children are really going to relate with. So that was book one. And the second book in the three four box was featherlight and you may recognize this author from the cogheart series i'm sure you're familiar with that very fantastic series so featherlight uh, is a barrington stoke book if you're not familiar with barrington stoke uh, you can see that they're published on a tinted page with their dyslexic friendly font um, which in our boxes this time we gave you some extra information uh, on Barrington Stoke to help you out um, and it tells you how to use the special code on the back to see the reading age and the reading interest. Um, absolutely cracking little read based on, um, well inspired by um, two famous lighthouse keepers daughters and uh, you may be familiar with Grace Darling and the second is Ida Lewis it tells you about that in the back as well so if you if you're looking at lighthouses this is a perfect read aloud um Darren's father is a lighthouse keeper on featherstone island keeping the lantern lit to protect passing boats from the treacherous rocky coastline but when an emergency arises and Darren is left alone to keep watch over the lighthouse she finds herself in a terrible situation when the lamp runs out of oil during a wild storm with a fishing boat in peril on the sea Darren has to seek help from an unusual source. Will she be able to keep the lantern lit through the dark, dangerous night? Well, you'll have to read it to find out. Cracking little read. you really enjoy reading that and your pupils will enjoy reading that as you put that in your class collection as well. And sometimes those kind of readers can lead them on to the longer reads when they've gained a bit more confidence, but recognise the author. Um, so also in there, this time the goodie was a World Book Day book. Sometimes the goodies are badges, posters, things to hang in your classroom, bookmarks, all kinds of bits and bobs. Oh, I didn't tell you, sorry for popping off the screen, is that we do our very best to get you signed copies. So there's Featherlight signed. And... Mayhem Mission, there's a signed copy as well. So we do our best to get you signed copies, make them really special for the classroom. Um, and we, what we try to do is choose uh, books that are brand new. So you've hopefully never seen them before. So we're giving you most up to date, which reflects uh, realities that children uh, live in, all the diversities, that kind of modern lens to look at life and to look at situations and scenarios. So what should we go for next? Let's go for our most popular box. So the books from the year five, six March box were these two. So this one, is by Jess Butterworth. Now you may know Jess from some of her other books. This is one of my personal favorites, uh, When the Mountains Roared with the Snow Leopards. Um, 
you can tell her love of um, nature and all the traveling that she has experienced herself. So this one, um, when you read it, we've got two characters and it alternates between them. So we get a, a chapter from Seb, a chapter from Vivi. When Seb's best friend, Clay, is injured in a shooting, Seb feels helpless. When Vivi's grandmother dies in the same instant, Vivi feels lost. Seb believes the magic of nature could help heal Clay if he can just make a wish on a special rainbow pool. Vivi believes her grandmother would have wanted her to go with Seb to help save his friend. But between them and the rainbow pool are bears, earthquakes, wolves, boiling pools and a super volcano. Can Seb and Vivi find the pool in time or will they fall into the volcano? And this cracking uh, front cover illustration is by Rob Bidoff of Draw With Rob fame, so you may well recognise him. Um, I'm just going to share a bit with you from the author notes for this one, just to give you a bit of a background. So again, this one comes signed by Jess, and this came with a rather nice bookmark. I first, so this is the author note by Jess, I first visited Colorado in 2014 and instantly fell in love with the Rocky Mountains. In 2019, when I was living in the States, I embarked on a trip of a lifetime. My husband and I packed up our trusty old car and I drove 1,730 miles from Louisiana to Yellowstone National Park, stopping and camping in Colorado along the way. Being in the wilderness, watching the chipmunks, moose and herds of bison and hearing wolves howl at night made my heart sing. Often when I'm writing, it's the landscapes and settings that inspire the story. And it was during this trip that the seeds of Into the Volcano were planted. When driving to Yellowstone, I had heard devastating news on the radio that there had been mass shootings in two different states, which sparked ideas for the event that would lead to Viv and Seb me being friends. When we were in the park itself, we were very careful to follow the rules, maintaining a safe distance from animals and not stepping off any paths into the volcanic landscape. But my imagination was already running wild, wondering what it would be like to get lost somewhere like this. I completed this book in 2020, a year that was filled with unknowns and anxieties for everyone due to the global pandemic. The mindfulness and breathing techniques that Seb uses in the story have come in handy for me many times. When I'm anxious, I try and remember to stop and breathe because no matter the darkness, there's always hope, kindness and wonder in the world. And for me, I find it most when I am in nature. So that's the Jess Butterworth one. Um, the second one in that box was by Kath Howe. You may have read some of Kath's previous books there. Uh, the covers are in a similar design with Nosy Crow. Kath has a great way of writing uh, about children's feelings. Uh, this one, uh, Lucas is all alone. Since his mum died, Lucas and his dad don't seem to understand each other at all. And Lucas is dreading the summer drama club that his dad has signed him up for. But the people Lucas meets at the club force him to open up and start talking. Can his newfound friends teach Lucas to be himself? What we hope in the book choices is that they will open up some rich discussion in your classroom. We always advise you to read the books first. If there's any um, content that may be um, sensitive to some of your pupils, but it allows you to have those conversations and to look into mental health, uh, bereavements, different issues uh, that you can have conversations with in your classroom and link with your curriculum for other aspects of the books as well. So that's key stage two done. Let's go to key stage one. So in key stage one this time, um, they received uh, one picture book and one short novel. Nope. Okay, so let's go picture book first. Um, the Perfect Fit. Uh, it's a husband and wife duo uh, who are actually in Cornwall. Um, again, lovely signed copy for you. And this one came with some nice activities to do. Uh, triangles don't roll like the circles or stack like the squares. 
So she sets off to find some friends who are exactly like her. But when she finds the other triangles, there's still something missing. Will Triangle ever find a place where she truly belongs? So you've got the opportunities to discuss shape, but you've got lots of opportunities to discuss being yourself, what it means to fit in with others uh, and standing out for the crowd. It has got tones of one of my favourite books, Odd Dog Out by Rob Biddulph. Uh, so if you love that, which I do, um, then you're going to love this one as well. Really nice picture book. And then the other one, Wiggles Bottom Priming. Now, there are a plethora of Wiggles Bottom Primary. And if you're a Key Stage 1 teacher, then you really need to be introduced to them. Um, so what you get um, is, let's open it up. The characters in the Wiggles Bottom Primary. And then we get three short stories in there. Now, Pamela Butchart has a cracking way of writing as if she is in the child's head. So children, young children really, really relate to it. And there's lots and lots of fun and giggles. Absolutely cracking read aloud uh, for the Key Stage 1 classroom. Anything can happen at Wiggles Bottom Primary. And it always does. Is there a dinosaur in that egg? Yes. Is the new girl very surprising? Yes. Can a cupcake save the world? Yes. So what are class two are going to have to do, going to do about it all? Have a lot of fun. Wonderful. Isn't that what reading should be? Lots and lots of fun so you can giggle and laugh together. Three perfectly pitched school stories, hilariously told by Pamela Butchart and beautifully illustrated by Becca Moore. Prepare to laugh your stinky socks off. That's what it says for this one. Uh, uh, really great stuff, that one. So we try to provide uh, books that you can use in PSHE lessons, in your reading lessons, in your assemblies, and books that can just be read aloud for um, for pleasure, just to be read aloud and to be enjoyed. Hopefully sharing the love of reading, modelling fluency and enjoyment and sharing a range of books with your pupils. Um, and let's go finally to our EYFS box. Which one shall I go for first? I'm going to go for this one and I'm just going to peek through. <laughs> so this one is Look What I Found in the Woods and it's published by Nosy Crow. And with many Nosy Crow books, I'm not sure if you're familiar, get this little QR code that you can scan with a smartphone or device. And in the EYFS classroom, this is really quite handy because it reads the story to the children and does a little ding um, so that the children know when to turn the page and read along. So that's quite a nice feature. So this is signed by the author. There you go, signed book plate, uh, Moira Butterfield. And this is going to be a series, so you might want to watch out for this in your classrooms. So we go on a little trail. So it's perfect for linking with the outdoor classroom, but it gets children to scan across the page. Can you see this? Can you find that? Really looking and navigating around the page and looking for nature. I really love the perspective on these trees, making them look really massive and going up. And then it gives us the, the shapes to spot different types of trees. Lovely about turn. And then we've got different types of bark to spot. Really will inspire some lovely outdoor work uh, in your settings. Very nice one. Um, and then the second book in the EYFS box was this brightly coloured beautiful. This is not, not a unicorn. Um, I'm going to share a little bit with you because it is rather cracking. Oh, again signed this one by the author and the illustrator and a nice rhyme with this one hey there you step right this way you're in for such a treat for there's a special animal i think you'd like to meet the thing that makes it special is its sparkling magic horn but do not be mistaken this is not a unicorn 
And then we go on to find some different names, a tunicorn, a spoonicorn, a blow up your balloonicorn. And I just think this is wonderful for imagination and creativity, innovation, getting the children to create their own weird and wacky versions um, and it also gives that sense of being who you are everybody's different and everybody can have their own specialism uh, and we are all unique um, what a wonderful display of unicorns you could have in your setting um, and i think it's suitable for boys girls or um, it's not the pink fluffy unicorn kind of um, book um, and at the end we get just unicorn so that that sense of self so that's in the EYFS box so that's just a short rundown of the recent boxes to give you a flavour and example of what you might get remember it's not just the two books and um, we throw in a treat and there are a few extra bits and bobs that you can share in your classroom bookmarks posters things to dangle from the ceiling um, i'm just looking across over there because some things have been delivered ready for packing the next box we've got some rather wonderful postcards badges danglies posts all kinds of things that are going in the next boxes with some really exciting brand new books and remember the books sometimes you're the very first people to get them for example, this one, uh, the boxes were delivered about the 28th of March. They started to land with our subscribers and this one didn't actually come out until the 15th of April. So you're right in there, early birds, getting your hands on these new brilliant books that are great for the classroom. Um, if you're keen to find out more, you can always email me and ask questions. Uh, you can visit the website to find out more and sign up. If you want your school to sign up, we have several schools now who have all of the boxes delivered to each of those classrooms. Um, and we offer a school invoicing service. Again, you can get information on that. This is a perfect way to use your Prupil Premium funding. I've written a post earlier on today with lots of reasoning why that might be a good way a cost effective way to spend some of your pupil premium funding uh, so check out those posts and keep up to date with us by signing up for our brand new newsletter which is going out very very soon um, thank you very much for joining me um, if you need any answers to any questions you can just contact me have a wonderful evening and I shall see you all very soon. Thank you.